one, two, three and a quarter. This guy had a crush on my quarter. Uh, 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 uh. So what's going on, operators? So here's the deal. I was talking to my boy Poro from Poro United Gaming. I'll leave his link down below. And basically we were talking about, and I've stated it in other videos, just how underrated the ATEX FG camo is. Now, I was also challenged to put a build together using this awesome camouflage. Anyway, it's definitely going to be more of a jungle environment type, you know, tropical type camo. But it also blends in well with a little bit of desert terrain type features. You know, the beige features here. I mean, you're not standing out near as much as you, as you would think you would. But again, we've got a little vegetation around here. So that's what's up. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it shall we okay so at the edit appearance here as you can see this is really tight here i mean i'm the more i wear it the more i get used to it and the more i'm actually liking this so start out with the head of course you know me we're gonna go ahead and wear the warhawk and hair color brown one each facial detail the burn body details for this build here i'm going with the big red one i think it blends in really well with the tropical type camo that we have right arm of course santa maria left arm the battlefield cross if you would like today however i'm gonna go ahead and equip mi familia and you know again tattoo is really not going to be showing up a whole lot in here so with that being said Close tops we're gonna go with the cry combat and yes so we're gonna put it in the atex fg now i again i was challenged to try to make a build that would actually look good using this camouflage and i think i've uh i think i've done it here so again we're going to be putting that in the 2034 go with the crack combat vest we're going to go ahead and equip the vtec 511 for no really, you know, here, here's what I'm thinking. Plate carrier, you can definitely go for it. However, to me, you know, when you want to be a little more mobile, you know, when it comes to tropical and jungle warfare. And to me, the plate carrier, to me, would just, you know, make you just a little too heavy, in my opinion, right? Because you're going to be reconning that sort of our build here, that taste for it. We're going to do a little recon, a little bit of shit getting, you know, but... Like I said, let's go ahead and stick with the VTech and uh, the lightweight, liking that. And you're actually going to put that in the AOR2 to me. I mean, that just looks really tits to me. The, the little digi pattern, you know, with the FG. I'm liking that a lot, actually. You can see in the back there, the digi just really is blending in really good, this uh, AOR2. And we were discussing how nothing really blends in with the FG. But by golly, that looks pretty good to me. By golly, jeez. So go ahead and equip that in the 2434. Pants, of course, we're going to go with the Cry Combat as well. Putting that in the 2034 FG. Again, you know, just looking at this camo, you're like, man, how? where would you even like wear this type of camo to? But... You know, jungle with with the little bit of the beige, you know, type of environment to it blends in really well. That's why I've always said this is the most underrated camo in this game. So go ahead, equip the Cry Combat. Not really going to hate you a whole lot if you want to wear the Cargo Seas with this build. So either one really. You can either wear the Cargo Sea or the Cry Combat. It's really up to you, you know. Here's the thing though, I think the cargo seas actually would probably maybe blend in just a little better actually than I would say the cry combat just because you've got the grayness in the uh, in the knees there right above the knees. 
That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. But anyway, you can go with either one of my peeps. I'm going with the Cry Combat because they're so goddamn comfortable. But where we're going to go ahead and keep it real with the hiking boots. Go ahead and throw those in the black. Ghillie suits, obviously none. Accessories. Eyewear, I'm going with the Oakley SI Ballistic M frame. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the 6.6 Multicam Clear. Again, you know, I don't think under the canopies that wearing dark lenses would really work out very well for you. And again, depending on, you know, the mission and the environment you're going to be in would also depend on even things up to like what your eyeglass wear would be right are you going to go with like a bright orange will it be more of like an evening type uh situation that you would be out you know in and stuff like that so go ahead i think this looks really good especially with this camo and uh go ahead and put it in the 6.6 six clear now again you know this is all optional guys but again i feel like under the canopy of you know the jungle environment that you will definitely want something clear and you definitely want to wear some eyewear that's the thing that people don't you know you want to wear uh you know eyewear for majority of reasons however you also want to make sure that it's it's not really going to give your position away and i think these uh these work out real real well with this build so with that being said go ahead oakley si we're going to put those in the 66 multicam Go ahead and throw the shemag on, you know, a lot of mosquitoes and such. We want to uh, keep our neck covered for that reason. Plus, in addition, it also helps out with the camouflage scheme we got going. Go ahead and equip that in the 2-2. Headwear. Now, I was sort of, you know, I wanted to hit the boonie cap on this build. So, I'm not really going to hate you if you want to wear the boonie cap. Go ahead and equip that in the OD. Or you can go ahead and throw the ATAX FG. But, uh, you know, for me, I don't know, something about it, especially when you guys go out in the field and, and see the boonie, I mean, it's pretty hua, you know, it's, it's good, and you definitely probably would wear a boonie cap just to keep, again, the mosquitoes and such off you. Um, however, for this build today, I just had to go with the backwards baseball cap. I mean, it just looks, it, it looks really hua to me, and... To me, that's what the operator would choose instead of the jungle, instead of the boonie cap. I was about to say <laughs> the jungle cap, but anyway. So go ahead, throw that backwards baseball cap on, be a hood while you're doing it, give off a lot of attitude, and go ahead and put that in the 2233 olive draft. Headsets, of course, we're going to go with the earpiece. We're going to just go ahead and keep it simple in the black. Handwear, who else besides me loves the shit out of these new sniper gloves? I mean, let me tell you, it's like they were made perfect for this build, but we're also going to be able to use that in other builds. And I just want to say that these things look really, really, really fantastic. They did a fantastic job on it. So go ahead and put those in your 5.5 five sandstone and again i can't say enough about how glad i am that we got these actually okay we're not going to be going with rucksacks today operators if you did however i would suggest you just go ahead and put in the prick 150 on it and dressing that out as well as the camel back you're thinking damn matrix the sandstone but trust me if you look around again it keeps with the light and darkness of our sleeves you know a little bit of silhouetted i think the sandstone's the perfect uh the perfect fit for this and again with the ANPRC 150, basically the, the Prick 150, you're going to want to go ahead and throw that in the sandstone as well. And it just, I tell you, including, you know, your front of your LCE there, I mean, it just, everything to me fits in perfect. Uh, again, I was told, and you can't really match anything up with the camo. And, you know, I, I'm having to you know disagree on that i mean obviously you're not going to be wearing this camo you know out in where there's no vegetation that doesn't make any sense at all but yeah i'm thinking that the sandstone really goes well with this as well as uh you know as the digi that we got up front so 
you know, let me know what you think in the comments and such because I do uh, appreciate most, I would say 90% of my comments I really appreciate and the rest of them, you know, go fuck off because I, you know, as you guys know, I definitely, you know, I'm ranting a little bit right now, but I definitely uh, pay attention to my comments, you know, I'm, I'm pretty active on that part. So if you do get, you know, some hate out there, but that's not what my channel is about, man. My channel is about warriors and just fellowship of gaming. So if you ain't aboard with that, maybe I do piss you off with some of the shit that I say, but, uh, you know, it's not really on purpose, you know what I mean? I can't help it that I feel that the United States military is the best in the world, as I'm sure that a lot of you guys do, and you should feel like that about your your own country's military, to be honest. I mean, I you know, I don't know how else to put it out than that. But, you know, there's a, there's a camaraderie uh, as far as, you know, talking shit about each other's branches and each other's, uh, you know, country's service, but then there's just... Some downright mean ass bullshit ass talk. So, you know, like I said, you know, 90% of you guys' comments I really do love and I actually do learn stuff and knowledge is power, like I always say. But uh, as far as that other 10%, you know, you can uh, you can pretty much uh, kiss my ass, you know what I mean? And, um, and just, you know, I'm just going to try not to let it get me down. I'm going to go forward with what I feel like has become a pretty cool channel in uh, in the military community anyway. So with that being said, uh, that little rant's over. Go ahead, equip the camel back, put it in the 1333, or if you want to, the prick 150, you know, either one would be good to go. And go ahead and slap that in the 1333 sandstone. And that being said, I'm I'm thinking this is looking really nice. You guys saw it. I'll go ahead and, and run around with it. And let's go ahead and get into weapons. Okay, getting on with the weapons operators. Of course, what we will be carrying for our primary. Again, this is a mercenary build. My personal merc build with the FG camo. So with that being said, if you know me and you've been following me for a bit now, you know this is the absolute best weapon to me in the world and basically if i had to choose my top three weapons to carry in a firefight it would be one m4a1 without question two the galil that's right the galil i've carried it i've fired it before i actually carried it for about two months my day to day and i love the galil it's absolutely another battle-tested weapon. And third, but definitely not last, would be the AK, which I'm aware that I have not done a build with an AK yet, but hopefully that will soon change. But again, the M4A1, my absolute favorite weapon in the world. There's just been so many weapons modeled after the M16. There's a reason behind that, my peeps, is all I'm trying to say. So, of course, we'll be carrying the M4A1 for this build. Let's go ahead and load it out. Paint presets, go ahead, put it in the Dark Earth for either one of these weapons. The black would work as well for either one, our primary or our secondary. However, for this build, I'm going to keep it in the Dark Earth. So go ahead and equip it with the Dark Earth to stay along with my build. Parts, stock, bud stock. We're going to be putting that in the 2.5 black. Scope, again, this is pretty much optional. But if you want to stay with my build, go ahead and equip the digital scope or the ACOG. Uh, again, though, really, there is no right and wrong to this build. In fact, if you go a different direction with it, with the camo that I have put together go ahead and leave it in the comments okay so let's go ahead digital scope put that in the 25 black trigger of course full auto semi magazine again i just can't preach it enough not only is the m4a1 the baddest motherfucking weapon ever you can also carry 50 rounds in it just like in real life a definitely have a 50 round mag and let me tell you something people think oh it'll stove pipe all the time you're going to have weapons malfunctions all the time and quite contrary it's actually a very good magazine for an extended especially because of the rounds that you can put into it that's 50 rounds man one in the chamber you're carrying 51 rounds in the combat and let me tell you the ak they have a drum that you can carry 75 rounds but let me tell you every fifth mother 
freaking shot, it's malfunctioning on you. So again, not a big fan of the AK drum fed, which is 75 rounds. I'd much rather have the extended magazine with the 50 on the M4. So enough about that. Let's go ahead and put that in the 25 black. Under barrel, why wouldn't me? On the seventh day, God created rest and the M203. So let's go. Let's take it down range and give some of them tangos some HE freaking dirt naps. So go ahead, equip that. That's right, in the 1.5 Dark Earth. Rail, we're going to keep it clean. We'll be going with the rail cover in the 2.5 Black. Barrel, we're going to keep it with the standard barrel. Uh, the long barrel, I just, you know, you just lose too much handling off that. And what do you gain? A little range? Okay, that's fine and dandy. But again, this is, as stated, sort of a recon a uh, counter-terrorism build, hostage rescue build, if you will. So we're going to go ahead and keep that in the standard, and we're going to switch it up and put it in the khaki for this build. Muzzle, we'll be equipping the stock muzzle in the black. Make sure that your suppressor is also in the black. But again, what do I always say? Equip the suppressor as needed on the battlefield. And we'll be putting that in the 2-5 black. And that, my friends, is the build of our primary today, pretty much. And I know, I know you don't got to say it. I'm always carrying the M4, it seems like. But again, when I do other builds, though, I can't help it that other countries carry the M4A1. And that just goes to a testament of what a fabulous, well-manufactured weapon this is so with that being said let's get to our secondary secondary i know i know again Ma matrix is going with the m14 again and i'm going to tell you the reason why here as a dmr you want something that is battlefield tested which this definitely is battlefield tested the m4 besides that it is also again one of my favorite rifles in real life would be the M14. So we're going to equip that. I don't mind if you go with the SR24, but I have to say the game changer is this bad boy goes full auto. And if you didn't know that, now you know. It's a M4 can go full auto just like an assault rifle. The only thing is you got 20 rounds on the extendo. So let's get into it. Paint presets again. Both weapons today. Not really a choice. We'll be putting them both in the dark earth. Parts. Extended buttstock. The reason we're not going with the folded buttstock. Even though we get a little more handling. I want a little more accuracy on this build. And it actually does not kick bad to begin with. So go ahead and equip it extended. And we'll be putting that in the number one dark earth not the black scope we're going with the golf 28 and the reason why you see it right on on that top stack there you see that we have a red dot that we can switch to now the bottom stack it is a five scope but i really don't care for how it scopes in i don't know if you guys feel the same way go ahead and leave it in the comments if you do and also though i'm not hating you if you carry the t5 x-ray india to me best scope in the game hands down but again we're not gonna carry a sniper rifle the dmr is the way to go on this build so we're gonna go ahead and put it in the golf 28 in case we've got to lay down fire full assault we'll at least have the red dot on that top stack so with that being said equip that two five black trigger you guessed it full auto full auto dmr you tell me a better dmr in this game to use besides the m14 and i'll make a build for you let's go magazine again extended 20 when you start rocking and rolling those rounds go fast so what do i peach blue i don't think i peach anything i do preach though fire control you got to have fire control in a combat situation you must remain calm and you must must absolutely especially when you're only carrying a 20 or it could be a 10 if you don't got the 20 open you must have fire control rate of fire you gotta have it two five black enough said four grip we're going with the four grip victor three now I do really do like the Victor 3. The Victor 4 is very nice. You get a little more handling out of it. But again, I like 
the swivel effect that the Victor 3 has. You can swivel it around, and that's very important to me. So, we'll go ahead and put that in the 2.5 Black Rail. We're going to go with the Range Finder as usual, equipping that in the 2.5 Black Barrel. We're not going with the long barrel. Look how much handling you lose, and really you gain just a little bit more damage, uh, accuracy, yeah, but for me, standard barrel all the way. If you want to equip a long barrel, you might as well go with a sniper rifle. Go ahead, standard barrel, again, putting that in the 4.5 khaki. Muzzle, no reason for a suppressor. We have our M4A1 that is suppressed at this time. So we're going to go ahead and put that bad mamma jammer right there, the Compensator Vic 2. And we're going to go ahead and equip that in the 2.5 Black. And with that being said, that is the DMR today. The ever popular, ever resilient M14 as well as being battle tested. Which, you know... In my book, a weapon that has been used for years and years and years and has proved itself in combat, well, why wouldn't I equip it? It's my question. Again, you want the bling, you want the gold, AKs and such, find another channel because I'm keeping it real because that's how we roll. On the hip, I'll be carrying the N1911 to meet the very best handgun in the world. Yes, the SIG is right up there with it. However, just give me the old... Colt Commander 45, that's my nightstand weapon for sure. If you've been following me, you know that. I sleep with it. Hell, I'd even shower with it if I could. It's actually on the counter when I shower, but, you know, that's getting a little personal. So, let's go into paint presets. We're going to be throwing that bad boy in black. We're going to part it out. All you need is eight rounds. It's got, the 45 is just such a hua fucking round you don't really got to worry about it uh going through and through your target so you don't have collateral damage another reason i love the 45 again i do like the six sour not a big fan of the glock i carried it as my service weapon when i was a police officer but again just not a big fan of it just don't know why i guess you know call me old school man you know i don't like my safety being on the trigger itself and that's just personal preference and we're gonna go ahead equip the eight i think the extended looks absolutely retarded in our holster for this game and actually in real life as well and eight rounds is all you're gonna need to give that mother trucker a dirt nap we're gonna be putting that in the gray rail keep it clean put that in the gray with the rail cover barrel we're going to standard barrel obviously put that in the gray muzzle go ahead put the suppressor subdue it in the black however again as always stated switch to the suppressor as needed go ahead equip the stock muzzle in the black and that my friends is the old nightstand weapon right there 45 caliber in 1911 colt commander let's go of course, everything else would be optional. I would recommend only having two medic drones in a four-man team. The other two can switch it up on the drone. And again, if you play with me, I like keeping the role play alive. So even if you got all these items unlocked, you can only carry two until they get the flare gun working worth a crap. Where you can actually see it when your team member puts it off up in the air or whatnot i go with the diversion lure because it does actually mark you with a beacon for a few seconds and to me it's just uh it's more powerful for one and you can actually see it on the battlefield than the flare gun so i will be using the diversion lure and of course my frag grenade i love my frag grenades i love anything that goes boom so with that being said today that is the build. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe. It certainly helped me out. It helped the channel out all around. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I definitely appreciate you. Hope today was amazing. Hope tomorrow's amazing. I hope yesterday was amazing. And you know what to do. Go ahead and snipe that like. Snipe that sub. Operator 41. Cuts. That's how we roll. Dream something no one else could see. Tell me what it means when your fate is falling beneath your knees and you can't breathe. Everything you see reminds you of what you're not, of something you won't be. You gotta take what you're given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they're politicians and you to be an accountant because it's safe in the business. Not because they wanna do it, just because they heard it pays. And who the fuck wants to be poor, no one, that's how we've been raised. Society is getting heavy, I can feel the weight, the pressure of success is 
like a hundred million pounds of shame. And that's the reason I'm staying up late, trying to find a way to escape. The 